to this Rebecca Page sewing tutorial. My name's Zoe and I'll be showing you how to sew the peacock mask and the matching peacock tutu today. You will find these patterns on the Rebecca Page website. Please see the links below. To make your peacock mask and tutu, you should have supplies similar to those that I have here. You may like to use different coloured tulle or felt. Your next step is to either directly print your pattern pieces onto interfacing and apply them to your felt or you can apply your double sided interfacing or webbing onto the felt and then trace your pattern pieces. If you are doing this make sure you mark each pattern piece with the number so you know where everything goes. Your mask should look similar to how mine looks now. It's a good idea to keep your pattern piece layout guide handy while you're constructing your peacock mask. This will mean you can clearly see where all your pieces go. And you'll notice just above your, your mask layout guide that there's also a colouring in mask for the kids to complete and they can design their own like my six year old has done here. Our next step is to assemble the tail feathers on our mask. And so to do this, you'll just need to peel off the backing pieces, but not on your main piece. So leave that main piece on, and then for your other layers, just peel off the webbing interfacing. Place it on, and then we will iron it all together. And you can use a pressing cloth just to make sure you don't burn your felt. The next step after ironing your tail pieces together is to now remove that webbing backing from the main piece. We're now going to stitch our tail feather pieces together starting from the center. There is no need to back stitch when using a normal stitch length. We are now going to stitch out again on the right and left hand sides on an angle. Now just trim off your threads and repeat for your other pieces. Our next step is to assemble our tail feather pieces onto our mask and iron them down. Now you can use a bit of a pressing cloth on top and underneath just so as you don't iron your feathers accidentally onto your ironing board and just make sure that webbing backing is still on the main piece of your mask. Best not to use any steam for this part and it can take up to a minute for that uh, glue to react and hold down. So once you've pressed your tail feather pieces to your mask, our next step, once it's all cooled down, is to just stitch a little U-shape along the bottom of each of our tail feather pieces in our contrasting thread. So just repeat this step for each feather. Once you've stitched your tail pieces down, then go ahead and press the whites of your eyes onto your masks. Now we are going to stitch around our eye pieces in white thread, so we're not using the contrasting thread here. So once cool, just stitch around the whites of each of your eyes. So we've stitched down the whites of our eyes and now you'll just need to press down your eyelashes and you'll need to change the thread in your sewing machine again just to match in with your eyelashes and you'll just need to stitch along the top 
of each of your eyelash part. Don't do along the bottom yet, just do along the top of each of your eyelash. Once you've stitched your eyes and eyelashes down, you'll need to then iron on fe face feathers 5 and 6 onto your mask. Then put your contrasting thread back into your machine and draw some lines with um, Taylor's chalk and stitch down your lines with your contrasting thread. Just give them a little bit of a curve. After stitching down our face feathers with our contrasting thread, we will now need to press on the beak and the bottom feathers. Our next step is to remove the backing, get our elastic for our mask, check against your child's head if you have them available. Your elastic is going to be stitched at the sides just sandwiched between the backing and the main mask and we'll just put a stitch either side near the eyes to fix down our elastic and then we'll go ahead and press and then we'll finish the top stitching. Now I've pressed my main mask onto our back piece and next thing to do is, is to just stitch around the eye holes here so match your threads around and then go ahead and stitch all your bottom feathers in a matching thread so we're not contrasting the beak or the lower feathers and now with a bit of movie magic the mask is all stitched down and ready for cutting out. So I'll just cut out my eyes and then we just cut around the outside. And with your mask now cut out, it's complete and ready to wear. Now next up is the peacock tutu. So if you'd like a lovely tutu to match your lovely peacock mask, stay tuned. Mm -hmm. 